Hello everybody. My name is Diego Escobar and today I'm going to talk about the most common sentence problems that students had when they are writing their paragraphs. So also, these were the, the problems that I had when I was in high school. So let's see. Okay, the first one are the contractions. Um, when a first apostrophe replace one or two omit letters, um, when we put two short words together, we use an apostrophe to show that one or two letters are omit. For example, do not, don't, is not, isn't, it is, it's. So, and um, it's not common to use these shortened forms in academic writing. Uh, because these shortened forms are used primarily in speech and in informal writing. So we have to take account into this. Okay, let's, let's see the next sample is the pronoun disagreement. Some of the most common grammar mistakes are pronoun errors. They occur when pronouns do not agree in number with the nouns to which they refer. So a good solution for this is that if the noun is plural, the, the pronoun must be plural. If the noun is singular, the pronoun must be singular too. For example, the incorrect way is, everybody must bring their own lunch. And the correct way is, everybody must bring his own lunch. Okay, let's see the next are the mistakes with well and good. Uh, one of the most common grammatical errors is mixing up well and good. Uh, in general, well is an adverb while good is an adjective. Uh, the let's see the example is that the incorrect way is I'm doing good in English and the correct way is I'm doing well in English. So. A good solution for this problem is that when you are unsure with which one to use, simple, you have to ask to yourself whether an adjective or an adverb is appropriate for the situation. So this, this will depend on the situation. And let's see the next example is the comma splice. A comma splice occurs when one sentence is two complete sentences joined together by a comma. This is an error because the function of a comma is not to link two complete sentences. Uh, there are numbers of ways to avoid the, the comma splice error. And the best way for me is that we have to replace the comma with a full stop as, as we can see in, in the example below. Uh, the incorrect way is protesters intimidate voters, the election failed. And the correct way with the full stop is protesters intimidate voters, the election failed. So with this, we have a complete sentence. Okay, the next example is the lack of subject verb agreement. Well, um, confusion over subject verb agreement can be the source of many grammatical errors. When speaking or writing in the present tense, a sentence must have subjects and verbs that agree in number. Well, uh, I think that a good solution for this problem is that if the if the subject is singular the verb must be singular if the subject is plural the verb must be plural as well as we can see in the in this example the incorrect way is this recipes is good for beginning chefs so this this is not correct because recipes is in plural and the verb must be plural as i have said and the correct way is these recipes are good for beginning chefs. So the last example, the last error is are the misplaced modifiers. Well, to clearly communicate your ideas, you should place a modifier directly next to the word that it's supposed to modify. 
The modifiers should clearly refer to a specific word in the sentence. Uh, misplaced modifiers can create confusion. Okay, for example, we can see this, that the incorrect way is at eight years old, my father gave me a pony for Christmas. And the correct way uh, is when I was eight years old, my father gave me a pony for Christmas. So that was all about this topic. Thank you for your attention.